Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to very early on the 1st of December and the opening of my yarn advent calendar. I have never bought a yarn advent calendar before. This is my very first. So I am so excited and I want to get started and open it really soon. Now, before I do, big spoiler alert. If you bought the My Yarny Corner Advent Calendar from Danny, uh, from Alex and Danny, then I suggest after I tell you about my pattern, you switch off because I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. So I'm going to be opening three days, the first three days. There are a lot of people doing Vlogmas. There'll be a lot of videos out there and I'm not one to do videos every day. And I decided today I'll do three days and get me started. So what project am I going to do? Well, finding an advent project for me was quite difficult. It's because I hadn't done one before, I wasn't sure what I would do. I could take the easy road and do a crocheted lapgan or a knitted lapgan, which I make lots of, or I could try something outside my comfort zone and be a little bit more adventurous. I watched Alex at My Yarny Corner, her video on different projects you could do for an advent calendar. And I did look through Ravelry and favorite a few of those and I hadn't decided. But a day or so ago, I was watching Ruth Loves to Knit. She has take, just come back from a break of doing videos. She knits the most amazing shawls and projects, absolutely. Um, and she has some interesting things that I learn about different things along the way. So if you haven't checked out Ruth Loves to Knit, please do so. A link to her channel will be in the description below. Because after watching her, I finally decided what my advent project would be. So, of course, it's going to be a knitted shawl. I've only ever done one knitted shawl before, and that was a very easy free pattern by Stephen West. And I did find it worked out okay, and it looked okay, but it was a very simple knitted pattern. So I've gone for something a little different, a little bit more difficult, and taking me outside my comfort zone. So the pattern is Winter Dawn by Tabitha Hedrick. There you have it. It's a shawl pattern, a very lacy looking one. This is, I want to keep this for myself, and I think this is something I will wear once I have finished it. Now... I don't understand that designer Tabitha Hendrick, um, it says she lives in Tennessee, but the actual pattern was in Canadian dollars and it comes from Sweet Georgia Knitting Pattern. Now this was a 2017 advent project. It was $9.35 Canadian, which exchange rate was $10.90 Australian. That's about as much as I'll pay for a pattern. There was a while back when I first started that I wouldn't pay for patterns. I would only use free patterns, but now I seem to be buying a lot of patterns. So that's some pictures on the back and how you can do it. And that's what I'm going to hope I will be making. Now, I don't show whips often because they often when I show them, they go wrong. So let's open day one. Spoiler alert. If it's, you've got this and you don't want to see it, switch off and I'll see you in the next video and enjoy your yarn and vent project. So, day one. What's it got? It's got a cup of tea or something. Cup of tea on day one. That sounds like me. Oh, there's a chocolate eclair in there. Oh. These people really know my way to my heart. There you go, day one. Now, it's sort of lemony and cream. Yeah, it's lemony and cream colours. Can you see that? I'm sorry about the rain. It is the official start of wet season today. Yes, I wanted rain and it's quite noisy and it's pretty heavy. That feels absolutely beautiful. Day one. Now I'm going to put it back in the packet or I'll forget which one was which. 
So next I'm going to open day two. On here is a sleepy little rabbit. Day two, keep my lollies aside. Or sweets, candy, whatever you want to call them. In here, with this one, is a little, little leather tag, handmade. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna get all these little treats. Now this is lemony yellow with some green flecks. Now remember this was called the very Yorkshire Advent. And I did have concerns it would be all greens, but so far it's not, and no, I really like it. So that's day two. I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> Well, it is my first yarn advent. So let's open day three. Day three is three with a bow tie around it. What's in here? Oh, more chocolate. A little twirl. And this is probably one of the more favourite colours of green of mine because I'm not a green fan. This is lime green. This is a perfect colour for me. Da -da, da -da. lime green so I have the creamy yellow the yellow with green flecks and lime green isn't that awesome and I have a chocolate pair and a little twirl to get me started to keep me energized and a little badge to put on it handmade when I finished I didn't expect all the little treats in there, so thanks to Alex at My Yarny Corner and Danny for doing that, bagging it up that way. And yes, I am excited. Now, if you're doing a yarn advent calendar, let's share it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of my pattern. Do you think I'll be able to manage it? Guys, that's it for me for the next three days with the yarn advent. I will come back on day four and open some more. But as I said, I'm not going to do every day and I will a, a video every day. I'm just too busy at work and life at the moment. But I am excited about this. <laughs> so now I have to go and get ready to go to work and hopefully this rain eases a little bit to drive in. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and enjoy a yarn event with me. Bye for now.